Hey everyone, this is my walk you on Pokemon Kanto and the last video we visited Boone Island and Ken Island uh, Defeated the Kanto biker gang that was there. I uh, learned that we need a save Lostel And uh, did a lot of other stuff including trying to save the game corner yada 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 getting some more ultra balls and stuff And now we are back here on Mount Ember and we are going to face this Sorry for the cut right there. I had to do something really quick. But anyways, yes, we're going to take on the final Legendary Bird of Kanto and the Winged Mirage number three. Boy, guys, this is going to be good. And here it is, guys. Legendary Bird number three, the Occidental Phoenix Moltres. Yes, Moltres is the last of the legendary birds of Kanto, found here on top of Mount Ember. In the original Generation 1 games, it was originally found in, um, in a later dungeon that we have not yet gone through, and I'll mention it though when we go through that. Uh, Moltres is going to know four moves, agility just like its other uh, legendary bird members, endure, fire, uh, flamethrower, and fire spin. I'm going to send out here Matarasu just because it's going to be able to withstand uh, fire moves better than anyone else. And uh, Endure, uh, in, uh, Moltres knows Endure, which is great because basically um, if he uses Endure and it gets hit with a critical or a super effective move, it's always going to hang on with one, point, uh, one hit point, which is great, which makes it a lot easier to catch. Um, I believe it's Prime now for fighting, so we're just not going to try anymore, because I don't want to, like, hit it again. So we're just going to start chucking Ultra Balls at it, and hoping for the best. No. Uh, but yes, Moltres is a, um, fire and flying type, so it's, it's a very good type. It's going to be super effective against grass types. Um, and there's some pretty good moves, although I have really get rid of Fire Spin, because Fire Spin is a sucky, 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 sucky move. Uh, do you know what? I'm gonna risk it. Yes! Oh, thank God for using Endure. I was gonna see if I could weak it a little bit. And there. When it says it has endured the hit, it means it only has one HP left. Now, Moltres is gonna be a lot easier to catch. I really wish I could put it to sleep, because those combination of those two things would be really nice. Uh, but yes. By the way, when I described Occidental, if you guys don't know what that means, Occidental is the adjective for the direction west. Just as Oriental means east, Boreal means north, and Austral means south. So that's where we get the term Australia, because it means south of some... I don't remember what it means, but yes. That's why it's Austral, because it means south. Yay, I'm smart! Uh, but anyways, yes. If you guys have been following at all with um, the names of the Legendary Birds, you probably already know what Moltres is going to be named. It's taken after the anima of, um, I don't know if I pronounced it right, right? Uh, it's Greek, A-N-E-M-O-I. It looks like Animoi, but that's, I don't know, that seems too Frenchy of a pronunciation. Uh, come on, Moltres! Please get in the Ultra Ball. Come on! Ugh. Anyways, if you guys um, know that. Um, also, but before I go on and explain that, I really want to say I'm really surprised that Ninetales is actually doing this well in this fight. Because I forgot that it knows Flash Fire, which means that I cannot get hurt at all. So, um, as a Ninetales, Amaterasu is coming through for me really well. Yay, Amaterasu! Uh, but yeah, so you guys should already know what Moltres is going to be named. That clue, Occidental, should be a clue. Western, Western Wind. Okay, let's see. Boreas is the god of the Northern Winds, and Notice is the god of the Southern Winds. So the god of the Western Wind is... Uh, if you're a Block Party fan, you should also know this, because it was a track on Intimacy, and no, it was not Ares. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm nerdy like that, but, uh, yeah. Moltres, come on, please, you're my last legendary... Well, not true, but you're my last legendary bird. Come on! 
and Endure is not going to work anymore. Just, just get into the Pokemon. Come on, one. Oh, you are being so difficult. Okay, come on, let's make this one count. Come on, please, God. Come on, make it count. Come on, come on. Dawn Patch, Dawn Patch, Dawn Patch. Yes, 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 yes. Finally, we have caught all three legendary birds. Ah, finally, Moltres has now been caught. So yes, I'm going to name it, and we're going to call it the Greek God of the Western Wind, Zephyrus. Uh, probably my least favorite of it. I don't really know much about the. I don't really know much about the um, Greek Wind Gods. All I know, I do know like some stories about Boreas and Notus. The only story about Zephyrus I know is about um, with. The Courtship of Hyacinth, which is just a weird story. Yes, I took mythology. Um, but yes. Now that we have caught all we've caught all the legendary birds of Kanto, guys. Um, without using the Master Ball, which is awesome. So yes. Um, yeah, if you're playing Generation 1, though, Moldris, of course, is not here because this area did not exist. Um... It's found in a place called Victory Road. We have not been there yet, but we will go there fairly soon, so don't worry about that. Um, went back here to the. I went here to uh, Kin Island because we need to go here. And uh, after healing all my Pokemon, I think we're gonna stop here, guys. Because after all, we just caught a legendary. Geez, that's room for celebration and room for stopping a video. So next time on Pokemon Kanto, we are going to continue the quest of saving Mostel here on Kin Island and go through um, the, that route that we have to go through. I forgot what it's called. What's it called again? Bond Bridge. That's right. Okay. So next time we're going to go through Bond Bridge and hopefully uh, find Mostel at the other end and save her. I'll see you guys next time.